Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to draw a longitudinal section and cross section of a T-beam with reinforcement detail and sufficient explanation. This is our approximate 3D view of a certain length of T-beam with reinforcement detail. Upper horizontal flat portion is called flange or slab and lower vertical section in T-beam is our web. The four bars of green color in our web are main bars in beam and two black reinforcement bars of this figure are our anchor bars. Anchor bars holds the stirrups on the compression side and this rectangular red color object in our T-beam is our stirrup. They are provided to hold our reinforcement bar together. The deeper the beam, the greater will be the shear capacity of the beam. When the depth of the beam is not adequate, Steel stirrups must be added to increase the shear capacity of the beam. Our designer should specify the size, spacing and location along the length of the beam where the stirrups are required. We also know that shear force experienced by beam is larger near support than at center. So greater center to center spacing between stirrups is made near center and less center to center spacing is made near support. And this yellow color reinforcement bars are our main bars in slab or flange and these blue color bars on the top of main bars are our distribution bars. These bars are provided for binding the main bar of a slab to prevent its movement from a original position. Some shrinkage stresses occurring in a structure due to temperature variation is also taken by a distribution bar. If we cut this T-beam along AA direction, then a sectional view obtained is our longitudinal section or L section. And if we cut this T-beam along DB direction perpendicular to the longitudinal axis, then a sectional view obtained is our cross-sectional view. Now let us see our data for drawing L section and cross-section of our T-beam. Here all dimensions are expressed in meter for simplicity. I will draw a sectional view of T-beam in AutoCAD. You can draw it on a paper with suitable scale in a similar way. Now open AutoCAD. We will set a unit for our drawing. So for this type units as a command. In type make it as decimal and in unit to scale inserted content make it as meter and click to OK. Here clear span of beam is 4 meter and bearing of the beam is 0.3 meter. We have to add the bearing of the beam at right and left end with the clear span to obtain the total length of the beam. Here bearing of the beam is a length of the beam inside a support. So our total length of the beam is 4 plus 0.3 plus 0.3 is equal to 4.6 meter. In our question total depth of beam is 0.5 meter. So go to draw toolbar and select a rectangle specify first corner point and draw a rectangle of length 4.6 meter and breadth 0.5 meter press tab to enter a breadth and click to enter here we are drawing a longitudinal section of a t-beam bearing of beam is equal to wall thickness so our wall is at extreme end of beam so go to draw toolbar and select a line turn on this ortho mode here we don't know about height of wall, so draw a line of any length. For simplicity, I will draw a line of length 0.5 meter like this. Press ESC and again press space to use a same command that is command of drawing a line. And here go up to a length of 0.3 meter which is our wall thickness. Go downward and draw a line of length 0.5 meter and press ESC. Now we will explode this rectangle. So for this select this rectangle type X as a command and press enter so that this rectangle get exploded. Now let us know about a clear cover. Clear cover is the distance between the outer boundary of the beam to the surface of its reinforcement. So go to modify toolbar and select a offset command and type 0.025 as a offset distance which is equal to clear cover distance and offset this side of rectangle like this offset this side of rectangle inside like this and press escape now stretch this line inside with a distance of 0.04 meter which is our end cover distance 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर मीटर विच इज आवर एंड कवर डिस्टेंस Now press ESC. This inner line represent reinforcement. So we will use another color for this reinforcement. So here change color to green. And press ESC. Now we will show still ups in our longitudinal section for this change color to green. Go to draw toolbar and select a line and draw a line joining this midpoint and this midpoint like this and press ESC. According to our question, center to center spacing is 0.2 meter. So for this, go to modify toolbar and select offset command. Type 0.2 as a offset distance. Select this line which denotes stirrups and offset it like this. Now we will draw a break line symbol. So for this, change color to white. Type break line as a command, and press enter. You specify this point as a first point for break line, and this point as a second point for break line, and you specify this point as a location for a break line symbol. And we can see a break line symbol like this. Now I will add this wall section. So for this, type add as a command, press enter. We will change color to yellow. Choose this pattern and add it like this. We can change this to 0.3 so that this as lines comes closer. Now click to close as creation. Now I will again change color to green. Now we will bend this longitudinal bar at the ends to develop anchorage. So for this, go to draw toolbar and select a line. Turn off this ortho mode and draw a line like this. A length of this reinforcement bar inside a support is known as development length, which will be specified by a designer. Press ESC. Now, from question, we can see that two main bars in beam have cut at distance L by 10 from support. Now, let us talk about cut element or cutting of the bar because in our question, two main bars in beam have cut at L by 10 from support. Process of cutting bar to use only on a certain portion of a beam is known as cut element of bar. Now let us know about the necessity of cut element of reinforcement in beam. Magnitude and direction of bending moment change throughout the span of the beam, and therefore required quantity of the main steel also varies accordingly. The bending moment of a beam is positive at near the center bottom, and hence more steel is required at the bottom. Similarly, bending moment is negative near support top, and more steel is required at the top near the support. Again, I will explain you in a simple way behind the reason of using more steel near center bottom and at the top near support. For this, just see this figure. Here, Yane is our neutral axis. If we see a center portion of a deflected shape of a beam between two supports, Supports, lower portion of the beam had experienced tension and upper portion have experienced compression. And near support, we can see that upper portion have experienced tension and lower portion have experienced compression. And we know that concrete is very weak in tension than in compression. So we have to provide more bars in tension side to make a structure long lasting. So in order to minimize wastage of steel, we will cut this to use only in a location of greater steel requirements. But practically it is very tedious at side because a lot of time and manpower is required for cutting of the reverse. Now let us show this cut element that is cut in the bar at L by 10 distance from the support. So for this I have to mark L by 10 first. L is the total length of the beam that is 4.6 meter and L by 10 is 0.46 meter. Here I will change color to pink. Go to draw toolbar, select line, specify this point and draw a line of length 0.46 meter that is L by 10. Now turn on this ortho mode and draw a line of distance 0.5 meter. Press ESC. Now we will change this color to green for our reinforcement bar. Now at L by 10 we have to show a cut. So for this go to draw toolbar, select line. Turn off this ortho mode and draw a line like this. Press ESC. 
Now we will use mirror command to do the same operation in our right side. So for this type mirror as a command, press enter, select this, select and press space and we will specify midpoint as a first point of mirror line. Turn on this ortho mode and we will mirror it like this. Now in erase source object click to no. We will draw a cross section of a T beam. So for this click to this arrow and specify this point as a leader arrow head location and left click on mouse and press ESC. Now we will go to draw toolbar select line and draw a line like this. Press ESC. Now we will copy this arrow head downward. So for this type copy as a command. Click enter. Specify this point as a base point and copy it like this. And click ESC. Now turn off this ortho mode and type text as a command. Press enter and specify this point as a start point of text and specify 0.08 as a text height. Press enter and specify 0 degree as a rotation angle and press enter. Now here type A. Click anywhere on this workspace and press ESC. Now we will put this text in an appropriate place. So for this type copy as a command. Select this text press space. Specify this point as a base point and copy it here like this. Press ESC and delete this text. Type offset as a command. Press enter. Specify 0.13 as a offset distance which is our depth of flange. Press enter. Select this line and offset it inside like this. Press ESC. Now select this line and click this down arrow and here change to dash. Press ESC. Now we will draw a cross section of T beam along AA. So for this I will change color to bilayer. I will go to draw toolbar and select a rectangle. Specify first corner point and draw a rectangle of length 1.2 meter and breadth 0.5 meter. To enter breadth enter tab on keyboard and type 0.5. Press enter. Now select this rectangle, type X as a command, press enter and explode it. Now go to modify toolbar and select a offset command. Specify 0.13 meter as a offset distance. Select this line and offset it inside like this and press ESC. Again go to modify toolbar and select offset command and type offset distance as width of flange minus width of web by 2 that is 1.2 minus 0.3 by 2 which is 0.45 meter. Press enter. Select this side and offset it inside like this. Select this side and offset it inside like this and press ESC. Now we will use trim command to trim some unnecessary portion like this. Now press ESC.
now type do not as a command press enter and specify 0 as internal diameter and 0 0.014 as external diameter press enter this is our anchor bar and we have four main bar in slab now press esc again type do not as a command press enter specify 0 as a inside diameter and 0 0.02 as a outside diameter press enter and do like this we have four main bars in beam now i will change color to pink and click this down arrow below text and select multi-line text specify first corner and opposite corner like this make 0.12 as a size of text click enter and type cross section along AA we can extend this text box length by this way now click to close text editor again type move as a command click enter select this text press space specify base point like this and move it here now again type copy as a command select this text press space and specify base point like this and copy it as shown press esc now double click on this to edit it and here instead of cross type l which means longitudinal this is our longitudinal section and from here delete along a and click to close text editor now we will dimension our l section and cross section so for this we will change color to blue and type dimsty as a command go to modify and in place of overall scale type 0.4 click to ok and click to close now click to this dimension and dimension our longitudinal section like this press esc now i will delete this this line were just made for determining or cut length so i will delete them press delete on keyboard we will show dimension of width of flange and depth of flange in our cross section so for this type dim as a command and click enter and a dimension like this press escape you can label this longitudinal and cross section of a t-beam thank you guys don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button